So I love eating Lunchable as a kid. I'm going to show you how to make my favorite Lunchable and it's pretty simple and straightforward and I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to make it. So first things first is you want to soak your apples in salt water, you want to rinse them off and then you're going to pat them dry. They should look something like this once that is done. And then we're going to, you know, assemble everything. So these are the apples chilling in my little situation i have my protein source and you know i need one of those i have my vegan cheddar and then i'm making some homemade chips using some leftover gluten-free tortillas i've had in the freezer so i'm just gonna slice these into pieces it is frozen and they made amazing tor little chips by the way they were so delicious so yeah you just want to slice it up and i'm just gonna layer them on top of each other once i'm done so yeah you want to stack them on top of each other that'll make it so it's easier to cut and then you have like almost a reasonable similar stack so i'm gonna cut the edges off i'm not gonna use those and i'll make these into about the same size and kind of guesstimating and eyeballing and i'm just gonna create some chips and I'm gonna cut, line it up, and cut again. And continue to cut. And this is just gonna make some reasonable sized chips. How did I get the size? I made a strip first, and I went off of that. Then I put them inside of my lunchbox. They should look something like this. And you're gonna put them in the pan. Put a little bit of oil, very little, I'm talking about a fourth of a teaspoon, and you're going to let them cook on both sides. It should only take two minutes, or maybe even less than that one minute. So while those are going to start cooking, I'm going to compost the rest of these little itsy bits because it's made with cassava, and I think I have another one that's made with almond flour, but yeah, while those are cooking, horrible transition. <laughs> So while those are cooking um, on the stove, I'm going to start cleaning up. Now, at this point, I usually try to make it so that it's a little bit easier for me to cook. I'm meal prep not often because I am working almost seven days a week. So I don't have time to meal prep as much as I used to. So I switched to doing boxes. It's quick, it's easy for me, and it's super simple. I can carry it in almost any bag, and I love having them with me. So while those are cooking on the stove, um, make sure to keep an eye on them. I did. And I'm just going to clean off my cutting board, and I'm going to compost these pieces because... I don't like wasting food and I'm probably getting everything all together in the background. So these are going to go in compost or they might become more chips, who knows. But I definitely um, am going to compost some of this and make these into little chips that can probably fit in the corner. So I'm going to put these in a pot or oh, the pan and or a skillet and I'm going to take this little leftover and compost it because why throw it away? It's just going to create more gases that the planet does need. And I'm just, I'm not here for it. Um, and this is me speaking with a bunch of plastic packed food. Uh, contradicting. Um, <laughs> but yeah, compost. And let's move on to our next thing. We're going to cut up and get ready to prep our next ingredient which will be I think our diet cheese if I'm not mistaken so yeah we're gonna take the diet cheese cheddar not cheese diet cheddar sticks and I'm gonna use I think I used two or three for a box so a lot does fit in this little box don't let it the size fool you so I just am gonna open up my cheddar stick because technically speaking when you pull cheese um they say that it's not really cheese so we're just gonna call it cheddar for now um this box was gifted to me by a very special person and i truly
truly appreciate it. It was like a random gift because I was like, I need a lunchbox or a bento box. But I didn't want to um, buy any more plastic-based things. And this was before my zero waste journey has started. And yeah, so we're going to cut these into bite sizes. Um, again, measure with the food. So those are all cut up. And then I'm going to put the apples on the board, again, to make your apples last longer. Soak them in salt water for three minutes. It will save your life, let me tell you. You'll be happy. Once the board is done, it should look something like this. You have all your goodies. And... Okay, so once you have everything together and I've transitioned over, we're going to put everything inside this box. So we're going to start off with the cheddar cubes gonna put those in one of the little small things and it does fit a lot I was only three so it could have fit more my homemade um, either cassava or almond chips that I made on the stove that's what those came out looking like the apples from the farmers market these are honestly the best apples I don't buy apples from the store anymore um, so I'm gonna add the snap peas first that's my protein source um, we'll add the apples first then the snap peas in regards to room then I'm going to add in my protein rolls, and this is my vegan Lunchable. It's super easy to make. Um, this video is longer than how long it actually took to make it, and it was delicious. I took it with me, and I enjoyed it. see an all-natural version, let me know where it's just fruits and vegetables and natural vegan proteins such as soy and seitan. I wind up taking my lunch with me to the hospital while waiting for my sister and reading my book. And I got to eat lunch, wait for her um, while she was getting surgery, and enjoy my lunch. And it was delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you liked it, make sure to comment and subscribe.